Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. What I have for you guys today is just this makeup look. I recently picked up the Lime Crime Venus XL palette. I actually picked it up when they were having 50% off all their palettes, so I picked it up. I really have been enjoying it. Today was actually the first time I created a darker look, so this is what it looks like. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I'm glad I got it for 50% off. So if you wanna see how to get this look, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I am starting off with my Ice Prep P. Louise base and I'm going in with this Venus XL by Lime Crime, starting off with the color Supreme and I'm using this Anastasia A25 brush and I'm just going to start to wiggle that into the crease. Again, sometimes I stamp on the color, sometimes I want to do tiny circular motions. So again, just to change up the video a little bit, I just picked up this palette and that was just because it was 50% off one day or two days. And that's when I got it just because it is like a 50 dollar palette I want to say so I'm really glad that I got it the colors are extremely pigmented I went in with a fluffier brush just because when I swatched them they were super pigmented very creamy but they are very very beautiful shades and they are very easy to blend out so as you can see that's what the color I have started off with now going in with the color Passion. It's just a very hot pink color and a lot of them were like purple pinky on the berry side and this is a peaches and cream brush. I really really love this brush. I'm sure you guys have seen it on previous videos but I really really like it. Then I'm going to go in with the color Triumph with which it's just getting a little bit darker so we're starting off with a little bit of lighter tones and then gradually building to the darkest tones and here I think I picked up a Morphe M433 or probably the Sigma E25. I just really start to pack that into the crease there. To really deepen out the look, I went in with Botticelli or Botticelli. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it's a very dark wine burgundy type of color, a little bit on the plum side. And I think I'm probably using the same brush or like another similar looking brush. This looks like it's the MAC 217. And sometimes my concealer or base likes to kind of just, what is it, crease? That's the word I was looking for. Anyways, as you see, I'm just continuing to pack on that color. And now I'm gonna go back into the previous shades and continue to intensify them. Sometimes I work darkest to lightest first. This one I kind of went with like the middle shade and then to the darkest. As you can see here, at this point, I think I hadn't gone up high enough compared to my other eye. And again, I'm just pointing out the creasing right there that you can just still continue to pack on the color to get rid of it. Here, I went ahead and cleaned up the crease like I usually do, just skip that part. Now, before I patted on this color, as you saw, I did try to blend out that concealer so it's not too harsh. And I'm just gonna start to pack that Botticelli color at the very end. Now for the lid, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but I did go in with the color Goddess, which is like a dusty pinky type of shade. And I'm only doing this to prep my lid for what's going to be a pigment that I'm gonna be using. So I just figured it would pop more because it has like pink reflex to put it on top of a pink shadow. This is Pixie by Peaches and Cream Pigment, super pretty. And I'm also using their glue glitter or glitter adhesive, whatever it's called. Then I'm using a MAC 239. This is just a flat brush and I'm just starting to pat this on. As you can see, it's so pretty. It sparkles, reflex pink. These pigments are incredibly, um, I don't even know, like sparkly, but not glittery. This is just a tiny brush and that was just to really get into that crease and that's why I used it because it's tiny, but it's like the tiniest flat shader you'll ever have. It's a Morphe brush. I'll list it down below in case you guys want to see, but I did recently declutter my makeup brushes so I can jump into another video to show you guys my favorite eye brushes. Now going in with the flat definer and going in with that darkest shade again. I use this to somewhat carve out my crease or so I intensify my crease just a little bit more. So you can always play around with this, dip into a little bit more color if you feel the need. Again, packing that darker color again. I just always feel that on camera or in person, it's very different. Maybe it's the lighting, maybe it's my daylight from my big window in front of me, but sometimes I don't see it 
to be as dark as I'd like. Now I'm going in with this brush and I'm going into the Morphe 8 L, I believe. Anyways, it's just a new contour highlight palette that I picked up. Like I mentioned, I would be using my new products on my next video. So this is it. I'm not sure how this is pulling off on camera. It's not orangey whatsoever. I really actually like the shade. That's why I just kind of went in with a little bit more. And that's what I'm doing here. I just like to use this brush. I got this from TJ Maxx, you guys. It's by a brand called Beauty Concepts. It was like $4, but it's super, super nice. And I've really been enjoying that one. And now for highlight palette, I am using this Soph X by Makeup Revolution. This is my Wet n Wild eye brush that I use for highlight. It's my favorite. I had a friend recommend me this palette, told me it was amazing. This is the first time trying it besides just swatching it, but the swatch does not do it justice to how it looks on the face. I love this palette already. I did use the 20% off coupon, so I think it came to like 11 bucks. Hadn't tried this. My friend Jasmine also told me I would love it. So I'm really, really digging this, you guys. If you guys have not tried this and are looking for an affordable highlight palette that is pretty blinding, I would definitely suggest you pick this one up. I'm going back in with a little bit of that glitter glue and a small brush. And I like to do this when I'm gonna apply a highlighter or a shadow or anything. I just really want it to stick. And I went in with that white looking shade from the Morphe palette, but it's also because it has a little bit of a pink reflex and then I ended up mixing it with that bottom one. <laughs> So that's how I ended up doing my inner corner highlight. I was going to go in with the pigment, but I just wanted to keep using the palette products that I had started with. And now for lips, I'm going in with a Maybelline Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick, like always. I will link it down below, that way you guys know the name of it because I can't think of it off the top of my head. It's a very pretty, very dark vampy type of color. I could have gone with the nude, but I knew I wanted to do something really bold on the eyes and on the lips, so I'm not speeding it up or anything, but that's basically it. That is the lippy that I decided to go with. Okay guys, here is just a close up of the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Comment down below, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.